Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell and to my first home bargains haul of 2023. So I popped in there earlier on today just to get a few cleaning bits. I needed a few like storage and organisation bits because I'm in huge declutter mode at the moment. Um, and then yeah also got a couple of foodie bits um, and a couple of homeware bits as well so they had some great stuff in i find after christmas sometimes it can be a little bit bare but i feel like now we've got to mid january they seem to have restocked some of the bits in the shell on the shelves now they've got all the valentine's bits in um and they've got mother's day stuff in as well as easter stuff as well um so yeah i'll basically show you everything that I've picked up, tell you how much it cost, and then hopefully it gives you an idea of some of the bargains that they have in Home Bargains at the moment. I took a little bit of footage when I was in Home Bargains of some of the new items there, so I thought I would share at the start of this video. Like a lot of shops at the moment, they had a lot of storage and organisation items at some great prices and they look great quality too they also have a whole aisle dedicated to valentine's and mother's day and the valentine's cups were so cute and a bargain at only £1.49 there was lots of affordable gift items the mini whiskey set for £5.99 for example would make a nice present so many gifts for Mother's Day too. The tins were beautiful and only £3.99 and I think they would make a really nice gift with um, maybe fill it with your mum's favourite goodies or some homemade cookies would be nice too. They had some planners for only £2.99 which were very practical and cute. Um, and then they had personalised hot water bottles so you could make your mum like a little pamper kit with the hot water bottles eye masks and maybe some slippers too. Alternatively they had some pre-made sets which would be really nice and then the basket could be used as a lovely plant pot afterwards for planting some spring bulbs. There were also some lovely Easter decor bits in store. How adorable is that little bunny? And the wreaths were such good value too. So I just thought I'd show you a couple of the seasonal bits in store and then we'll get back to the actual haul itself. So the first thing that I'll probably go through is the cleaning products because it's kind of quite quick to go through them and then I'll get on to the um, other bits. So the first thing that I picked up is the Flash Multi Surface Wipe. I absolutely love this stuff. This is the Frosty Eucalyptus one. I think this is the Mrs. Hinch range one. I absolutely love it and I do think that it's a limited edition and it's going to go soon so needed to pick up another one of them and I believe that was £1.49. Um, if I get any of the prices wrong then I'll put the correct price on the screen for you as well. Also needed some more the Flora. I use this all the time like for everything um, and then I got this in the scent winter morning I think this one was two pounds for this size I really like the smell of this one too and um, also picked up some Lenore again in the frosted eucalyptus because I just love this scent and yeah I'm dreading that they're going to stop it soon so I'm trying to get some bits. Um, Lenore Crease Release, I got this in the Spring Awakening. I don't think they actually do it in the Frosted Eucalyptus. I wish they would because it smells incredible. But I do also like the Spring Awakening one. I've mentioned the Crease Release so many times. It's honestly amazing. If you have got a bed cover in particular that is prone to creasing, mine is an absolute nightmare. As soon as I wash it, it's so creased and it drives me insane because it just looks really messy. I spray this on it and it's honestly like magic. I used to honestly I used to like steam my bed covers it would take me forever now I just spray it on leave it for a few minutes and the creases just drop out and it smells incredible too so that is amazing also works really well on clothes um whatever cleaning bits did I get I needed some more window cleaner um, I used to use the Method one um, but I've been using this one for quite a while now it's the Pink Stuff window cleaner really good price this is 99p and it smells quite nice as well it's got rose vinegar in it and i find i have quite a lot of i've got like a glass dining table a glass coffee table and it brings it up to an amazing shine as well as obviously all the windows and then i've got this window kit i used to have this window kit um 
and then I've been looking for it for ages because the cloth's got a bit old and I couldn't find it anywhere and I saw it in Home Bargains and I was so happy um, when I saw it. It's a double kit so you basically get this yellow one which I use initially when I when I spray the when I spray it and then buff it up with the other cloth. Honestly I couldn't find this anywhere so when I found it I was just so happy and I think that was around $2.50, $2.99 um, but honestly that is the best these are the best cloths for cleaning windows, glass. Highly, highly recommend them. Um, I also needed some Vanish, Vanish Oxy Action. I've tried other brands and to be honest, I always end up coming back to this one. I think this one works the best for keeping whites white. Um, especially if you've got children and they are prone to spilling things everywhere. Um, I think that's all the kind of cleaning bits that I got. I'll show you some of the, oh no, I have got some other cleaning bits actually, I forgot about these. Um, I've got some soda crystals to top up, I think I might decant these into, actually I should have got that when I was in Home Bargains thinking about it, I did see one into like a storage or something, because I find like this, they just end up going everywhere. I use these for loads of things, mainly like in the sink to degrease it and um, make it, yeah, go down a bit quicker. And then I always get these when I go into either Home Bargains or B&M. These are the things that you put on your toilet. Um, and I love these ones. None of them work as good as these pink ones do. Then storage wise, so I'm, I don't know if I'll have put the video up when I'm uploading this one, but I've recently decluttered my um, walk-in wardrobe. It was an absolute mess desperately needed decluttering and sorting out and I'm so pleased with how it looks now and I've put some older drawers in there that I had in the spare room um, just to put like makeup and bits like that in and I just needed some kind of storage options to sort them out so they wouldn't get all messy again and I got these storage baskets in Home Bargains I believe I don't know where the receipt is I don't, so I don't know where it is it was literally under here um, so how much were these storage baskets? So these storage baskets were $1.49, which I think is quite a good price because they're fairly big as well. And hopefully they should fit side by side into the drawers and just keep you know, little makeup bits or little miniatures and things. They should keep them a little bit more organized. Um, and then also needed some more fridge storage. They had so many storage options in there. I was really impressed with, if you, I know, I suppose it's in January, everyone is going on a bit of a mad declutter. So storage options are essential at the moment, but I was really impressed with all the different storage options they had, whether you're doing stuff for your bedroom, decluttering and organizing their kitchen, loads of good options, really reasonably priced as well. So I got these large fridge storage ones. I did have some that I bought a couple of years ago. I got them from Poundland and they weren't very good quality. They were really thin compared to this and a couple of them have cracked. So I thought I'd get a couple more ones and these ones seem a lot more sturdier than the ones that I had from Poundland. These were 2 99 and they're large fridge storage so these will go on the bottom shelf of my fridge just to keep it a little bit more organised so I've got two of them in there um then I think that's all the organisation bits that I got and then this absolute bargain I got this reed diffuser and I just think that looks so expensive how premium does that look honestly I feel like that looks like it's just come out of the white company or something um that was 4 99 which I think is amazing I haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet I'm either going to put it in my walk-in wardrobe which I've recently done um but because it looks so pretty I might actually put it on my radiator cover in my hallway so I have no idea what it smells like <laughs> but hopefully it will smell nice but it does Looks really pretty anyway, doesn't it? And I couldn't believe that was 4 99 I thought that was a really, um, really good price for that. Then I've got this, everything, everywhere. I got this bed tray. So this was, I think this was 6 99 um, I used to have a small one. It wasn't a bed tray, it was like a sofa arm tray. And Arabella will sometimes use it if she gets up early and has breakfast in bed at the weekend. But I thought I would get this big one and maybe I'll get breakfast in bed, who knows? My partner was actually with me when he bought it and he was like, yeah, maybe, on Mother's Day. <laughs> so maybe once a year this will come in handy when I get my breakfast in bed. But otherwise I just thought it would be really handy anyway just to put things in, you know, if you've got guests coming round even to bring things out on this I mean it's a pretty big tray but yeah again very white company-esque and if that was in there that would cost I mean what 
30, 40 pounds maybe. So I thought seven pounds for that was a really good price. Let me put this down so I can um, get to everything else. Um, then I bought a couple of Easter, Easter bits whilst I was in there as well. So I know Easter's quite a while away, but I always find with home bargains, if I see stuff in there, I have to buy it because towards Easter time, nothing will be left in. And I thought it's also good then to be able to share with you guys so you, I can share what's in there. So these are for Arabella, um, my daughter. So I got her these paint your own decorations. Um, I always get these things for different seasons. I get them at Christmas, Halloween, and these are for Easter. And I think these were $1.99 and I just love them. And they're such a fun activity for children to do because they come with everything that you need in there. So they've got the paints, paintbrush, everything. And I thought they were really cute. And then again, also got her these paint your own Easter eggs, which again, come with everything that you need. And they were 149, I believe. Just got a couple of, um, kind of bits for the bathroom as well. So I needed some shower gel. My skin's been a bit itchy recently. I'm just a little bit sensitive. I don't know if it's the time of year and having the heating on that kind of thing. But I thought I would try this Sanex one. Um, so it's not got, you know, kind of any sulfates or anything in it like that. And I thought it might be a bit kinder on my skin. I got that and this was a huge one. I think it was like £1.50 or something for this huge bottle. So we'll try that. Um, what's this <laughs> not very exciting a dishcloth 29p i think that was yeah can't go wrong with a 29p dishcloth and then got arabella some toilet wipes these are so good in there so these are 59p and if you buy the normal ones from tesco so they're like 150 so they're you know a third of the price in home bargains and these are great if you've got so arabella's just i mean she's she's toilet trained now um but these are really good for Wiping their bottoms. <laughs> and again, I got some um, cotton wool pads just for taking makeup off. I, I do want to try the reusable ones actually and see if they're better. But I only use these just to take eye makeup off. So I only use one anyway. And then the rest of my face I use a, a flannel for. Then got some Himalayan bath salts. Um, so I'm back at the gym now trying to get healthy. So I'm really aching and I know it's you know, just because I've just gone back, but I thought then maybe this would be really nice if I have been to the gym and worked really hard, then have a nice bath with these bath salts and relax. And I think they were £2.99. Um, this is the cheapest price that I've found these in home bargains compared to anywhere else. Um, then I got this bottle. So this bottle was 99p. In my main bathroom, I have a shampoo, conditioner and body wash one that I've actually got the writing on. The conditioner one has broken, the, the pump doesn't work on it. So what I might do is see if this fits onto that one because it's got the writing on it or if not I'll just use this for the conditioner because I do think it looks really nice in the bathroom in these bottles rather than having lots of um, different coloured bottles in there. Um, what else did I get? I got these reusable Ziploc bags. These are the pouch ones as well and they actually stand which is really handy if you're maybe decanting sauces. So I try, I'm going to try and do a lot more batch cooking and um, so I thought these would come in really Unfortunately, my mic stopped working, so I'm editing it now, so I'll just voice over the last couple of items. I also bought a few snack bits. I picked up these Slim Fast Snack Pots, which were only £1.29. They were in the sale, um, so I thought I would give these a go, and they would be really handy to keep in for those times where you need a quick lunch. Um, and then I picked up this little pram toy for Arabella, even though she's nearly four. Um, someone actually bought this for her when she was born and she absolutely loves it. It's her favourite teddy, but it's completely battered now. She's pulled the fluff out of it. She's bitten a hole in its nose. And honestly, I've looked high and low for a replacement and couldn't quite believe it when I saw it in there for 2 dollars she will be absolutely thrilled. So that was everything that I wanted to share with you today. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. Sorry about the sound issue on the last couple of items. I've no idea what happened there. Um, but as always, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.